Um, so guys, we're going to be using the gridding method again with this project. So basically using the grid method the same way we did the oil pastel, just we're kind of dealing with a different size. <coughs> so your final project will be 18 by 24. So this is basically the next standard frame size up from where you were at on the oil pastel project. But um, the measurements on the paper are going to be exactly the same as the measurements on your paper for the oil pastel. So we're still doing a two inch grid on this one, okay? So although the paper's bigger, the measurements are the same for your grid. All right, so what you're gonna do, if you guys remember, you know, with this part of the project, um, you need to be very, very precise, okay? So I hate using that word, but um, when you're using the grid method, you have to, okay? Um, and especially the fact that we're <coughs> doing this project on your face, you want to make sure that this part is um, precise because if it's not, you could um, get your long lost twin version rather than yours. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to match up the ruler down here at the bottom. I'm going to start over here on the left side and I've just got the end of the paper matched up with the zero mark. And then I'm going to very lightly mark every two inches along this bottom edge. Now I am going to, just because this is a demonstration, I am going to kind of make these marks a little bit darker so they're easier to see hopefully on the video. They might still be hard to see. But you want to make sure that you're being, again, very, very precise. And then your paper is longer than your ruler so you'll have to move it. And then just again continue the whole marking every two inches. Okay. So I did that there. Now, so my bottom's all marked. I need to know where to draw my lines on the other side. Now remember, we do not want to do what to the paper when we do turn these marks? Over. Yeah, you don't want to turn it around. So just take your ruler, lift it up, start back over here. So this way, your measurements are all lined up, okay? So even if the paper was not cut properly, your marks will be precise. So I'm just gonna mark again every two, two inches. Make sure when you're making your marks, you're not just kind of like doing this sort of real fast or quick or, or uh, sort of haphazardly. So just make sure you're just taking the time to just do this the right way. Okay, so I've got my marks there. I would also turn my paper, and then I would start marking along the bottom edge here the same way I did over here on the sides, okay? Every two inches here, after I finish marking down here at the bottom, then I'm gonna lift my ruler up, put it over here, and then mark over there, okay? And then when you're ready, you're going to, and you can use the small ruler for these lines right here, but you definitely need to, when you draw the lines, the tall vertical lines, uh, you'll need the yardstick just because the paper size. But when you draw these lines, remember to, again, take the time to match this up so it's really precise. And you want to draw your lines very, very light. Now, I am going to draw the lines light so you can just see what I'm talking about. I'm literally just going to drag the pencil across. So you want those lines to be very barely there is what I would call them. So just enough that you can see them. But if you were to take, you know, a big step back from the paper, you wouldn't be able to see those lines. So. I'm not putting any pressure on the pencil whatsoever. Um, I'm basically just letting it drag across the paper and whatever goes on there goes on there. So that's how light I'm talking, barely there, okay? Because you don't want to see these grid lines. So if you guys, and you'll see your photographs here soon, but if you see the one on the board that I have projected up there, all of you guys have one side of your face that's really light. You don't want to see these lines going straight through your cheek like that, okay? So, everybody go ahead and get started. <laughs> 